ಬಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾ ಮನೋಹ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದುವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಹೇತ್ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾ ವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವ್ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸ ಸ್ನಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋಬರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರುಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಲುಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರುಣರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗುರಸಾಗರಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂ ಕೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೇತ್ತನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೇತ್ತನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಹತಾಕ್ಷ ವೀಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭಕಾರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷೀತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀದ ತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಜಾನಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾದ ವಿಮುಖೋಶ ದೈವಾದ 
अधर्मशील शु दुखित अनुग्रहाये हो चरती नूनम भूता भव्या जनार्दन श गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जग पौपा परमंश जगदगुरु टोल दोज वर एक्चुअली फॉलोइंग भक्ति विनोद धारा इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल दैट दे कैन बिकम सहजिया गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत पौपा परमंस जगदगुरु टोल दोज वर रियली फॉलोइंग भक्ति विनोद धारा इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल वी कैन नॉट एक्सपेक्ट That they can become sahajya. Actually, bhakti vino dhara and rupanuga dhara same thing. What is bhakti vino dhara? That is rupanuga dhara. There is no difference in it. Same thing. Sila Pohbad many time used to say that when we find wrong shiddhanta vichar. when we can find somebody going to insult pure guru vishnu going to be deviated from the track of shuddha guru parampara it is our duty to protest against them we should protest against them if we are not going to strike in that case we can lose our bhakti if we are not going to speak anything when we find clearly you know our guru varga and you know somebody going to insult them it is our duty to give fitting answer to them it is called bhakti if i am not going to give fitting answer to them then i can lose my bhakti why so point is that it depends upon your relationship with guru vishnu if you at all cannot feel that you have eternal relationship divine relationship with guru vishnu in that case there is no question of any objection on your part rather you can say i am a big vishnop i am a big vishnop whole world know me so why should i put objection if i put objection everybody is he is criticizing so better i don't speak though i know in that book that acharya going to insult guru varga this that i cannot speak because i lack to identify myself as big vaishnav nice vaishnav more liberal why should i speak but this is not the siddhanta of sila bhakti vinod thakur this is not the siddhanta of sila pahupa this is not the siddhanta of keshav goshi maharaj this is not the siddhanta of sila bhakti rak ka sidur ko sima this is not the siddhant of sila bhakti pomod pur ko sima this is not the siddhant of sila bhakti vigyan bharti ko sima i know they like to represent his siddhant of vichar and you know acharan in different way i know what is the reason many time pope are told you have no right to engage one vishnop in the seva or other vishnu who give you right who give you right very secret thing nobody knows they are less interested to can take information about the all secret subject matters they like to avoid it because if they are going to invite all the siddhanta vichar pohba they cannot stand in the platform of vishnu as a main problem one day 
there was one logo, they proposed one logo for Gauriam, Gauriam mission, I mean Gauriam art. Popat wanted to make the logo this way. But somebody going to change it. Follow. And some picture Prabhupada watch, some other picture, there one parshat of Bhagavan going to serve another parshat. Prabhupada say it is Siddhanta Viro. Through your picture, through your conception, through your, you know, Bichar, you cannot do it. It is offensive. It is offensive to engage one Vishnu in the service of another Vishnu. Okay, if Gurudev is speaking, my son, disciple, you can, that can be done. But one great Vishnu, you are going to engage him in another Vishnu through picture, through your imagination, that you cannot do. How you can feel, how you can feel good or bad, how you can feel, you can feel some pain inside heart, it depends upon your deep relationship with Guru Vishnu. If you have deep relationship with Guru Vishnu, then you can feel pain if somebody is going to insult him. If there is no relationship, what it concerns him? Let him insult. I like to identify myself as a big Vaishnava. This foolish world, they are in confusion about the matter. That this is criticism and this is objection. This is protest. So what is criticism and what is protest, they don't know. They cannot understand. That's why Srila Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Maharaj very often used to give me inspiration. Very good. Nobody can do anything, right? You can publish it. Nobody can do it. It's coming from us. I am in Vyasasana, Bharati Maharaj told many times. Actually, it is the duty upon big Acharya. Bhagavan engage you in this seva. I can come to this point after. Main point is that Sila Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Maharaj used to say that criticism and protest not not same. Criticism means this kind of fault, this kind of problem, not at all there. Unnecessarily out of, unnecessarily out of your jealousy, want to speak something rubbish. It is called criticism. What is not good, it is not good, it is not proper. They have done it. This Acharya done is this, this, done is. We should project this subject matter. Many times Prabhupada used to speak all the dirty activity, all the wrong siddhanta of those so-called Vaishnavas should be brought into light of public. And side by side you have to speak, this is proper siddhanta. If you go through Gauriya, harmonist, Sajantashni, Sajantashni, you can find so many protest note. So many protest note. On behalf of Gauriya mission, Gauriya Mat, he is outside man. Outside man. Totally outside of Gauriya society. He is writing. There was some very, you know, careful Guru Varga. Somehow Prabhupada giving information. Or Kesav Goswami Maharaj started writing. Objection not. They were like lion. They are all lion-like personality. They never fear to establish the Siddhanta Vichar of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. They never fear. 
Very often Prabhupada used to say, if you have hundred percent submission unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan, in that case, only in that case it is possible for you to, you know, protest, to speak absolute truth in front of people, absolute way. Otherwise, you can try to hide something. No need of speaking. If people can give me a garland. I have no expectation of any garland from you. I promise you. I have no expectation from you. Nothing. Only the only expectation you can follow our Guru Varga, Gauriya Guru Var, Prabhupada, Bhaktivinoda Thakur. That is my request to you. So, Sila Bhakti with Bigan Bharti Maharaj used to say that if somebody is going to speak wrong way, unnecessarily, it is not true. Follow. Like, like against Sila Bhakti with Madhav Goswami Maharaj. His God brother, some of his God brother, I don't like to name, he is, you know, distributing all, you know, leaflet. That Madhav Goswami Maharaj is not genuinely attached with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he has no connection. Outside, you know, he is a... He is not, actually, this way. Somebody speaking, Sila Bhakti, Dvaita Madhav Goswami, out of, his, out of his jealousy, he is going to, you know, speak in front of public this way. I wonder, that Madhav Goswami Maharaj, who is honoured by Prabhupada, who is honoured by, you know, Gauranga Mahaprabhu, he is honoured by Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, everybody, is going to pass this remark. Whereas, you have taken so many service from Srila Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami Maharaj. Even Bhakti Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami Maharaj was the only man, only God Brother, who was ready to serve you in your ex disease, almost incurable disease. He has done a lot of seva. And now you are speaking this way. This is the magic spell of Maya, Mahamaya. It is the Kripa of Mahamaya. It is the Kipa of Mahamaya. If we are going to take the Prasad of Mahamaya, then surely we can pass this kind of remark. No alternative. It is the Prasad, it is the Kripa of Mahamaya. Mahamaya can give me inspiration to speak, you know, this way, that way, for self pratishta this is. Big problem. So, Criticism is very dangerous. Criticism is dangerous, but protest is not dangerous. When some Vaishnava going to protest against some wrong Siddhanta, somebody is wrong Siddh Acharan, surely he is not going to write or speak out of his jealousy. Surely not. So it is not actually, it is not actually criticism. It is not, it is bhakti. But one thing very important, if one bonded soul in the guise of big Vaishnava, going to challenge somebody, going to speak somebody, you know, Siddhanta Bija, he said, you know, we cannot accept it, it is offensive. Follow. If somebody in bonded sage, we know by his activity, Siddhanta, all which is very clear as bonded soul. Maybe the whole world is going to subscribe him as bonded soul. In that case, if he is In your opinion, he is a renowned personality. But if he is going to protest against Siddhar Goswami Maharaj or Sila, you know, Bhaktivita Madhav Goswami Maharaj, it's very offensive. You can fall down. So, it depends upon the standard, I mean, in which position you are. Only and only those pure Vaishnava, 
you know, powerful Vaishnav, they have their right to protest. Not that you memorize some uh, sa sastra and you can protest against our Guru Varga, not that. Sometimes some of our Guru Varga writing wrong Siddhanta because they are not in line with Prabhupada. They are not in line with Prabhupada exactly. They follow. That's why they miss. If accurately, if you are in line with Guru Varga, there is no possibility of any mistake. There is a secret Siddhanta. So, it is very important that pure Guru Vaishnava can always protect us for different kind of danger in our life. No other way. Because we cannot get in touch with Supreme Lord in this condition. Only pure Guru Vaishnava on my behalf can pray to Bhagavan. Then Bhagavan can consider my case. This is the Siddhanta Visha. Yesterday I was speaking that angry attitude and mana, not same. I can come, I can switch over to my original discussion of Sila Bhakti Vita Mahatma Goswami, Bhakti, you know, Vigyan Bharati Goswami Maharaj, he was the only person who was so neutral after our Guru Varga, so neutral personality. Maybe somebody can protest against him. My Guru Varga, my Guru Dev, I myself, I never found, I never found any Pratishtha Asa, Remarkable thing. I never found any Pratishtha Asa on, you know, in Sela Bhakti, Vigyan Bharti Maharaj. If you, are, if you are going to blame him, then I can say, he could easily, he could easily arrange many marts and he could make so many disciples. But he never done. Last stage, something happened. I don't like to speak in, in front of you. He was bound. So, I can come to this point actually. How Sila Bhakti Pumanthuri Goswami Maharaj, how Sila Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami Maharaj, how Sila Keshav Goswami Maharaj, how Sila Bhakti Rakko Siddha Goswami they were very proud of such a of such a Gauriya devotee like Sela Bhakti began Bharti Maharaj. They are proud. I am not making any story. I myself was proud. I never, I never said anywhere that Bhakti began Bharti Maharaj is my God brother. In my whole life I have never saw. You can show one instant. I think it's Guru. When I was, you know, not, you know, Young age, when I came, I was very lucky to enjoy the love of this pure Vaishnava. I was very lucky to enjoy the love of Bharati Maharaj, I enjoy the love of you know, Bhakti Vala Tittu Goswami Maharaj, Bhaman Goswami. Lucky. So, that is my treasure. Maybe I am beggar, but this is my treasure. On the basis of which, we, on the basis of which I can dare to sit in front of you in Vyasasana. Otherwise, who permit me to bear? sit in Vyasasana? Srila Maharaj, Srila Guru Padma, Santu Goswami Maharaj, they order me. So, my speaking Harikatha, my writing, any objection, all the topmost servitorship of Guru Pad. It is not my, and I am not going to project myself. My Harikatha, my writing, everything is actually, it is called Guru Sheva. My speaking Harikatha, my writing, it is called Guru Sheva, servitorship. I am going to carry out their order. Srila Bhaktivedita Madhu Goswami Maharaj was bound to speak in front of open, you know. And that Mahapurush, Openly in front of, you know, public, I was not there. 
in the assembly, in the Abhirva place, in the Abhirva place, Abhirva place, in Puri, the Abhirva place of Prabhupada. That, that year I was not there. Most of the year I was with Bharti Maharaj to glorify Prabhupada. There, at present not going. Bharti Maharaj gone and the situation changed. I don't feel any. Otherwise I used to worship Prabhupada that day. Abhir Bhaktiti used to worship, used to Abhishek, all, everything it was my response. I was doing in Abhir Bhaktiti place of Prabhupada. Because my Guru Maharaj used to do, so they allow me. At present, so in open assembly, Srila Madhu Goswami Maharaj was bound to speak that Narottama Brahmachari is the ideal Brahmachari. Narottama Brahmachari, Narottama Brahmachari is the ideal Brahmachari. We all can follow, we all can follow the idealism of Srila Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Maharaj. Nobody, even out of jealousy, they have no scope to point out that Srila Bhakti Vigyan Bharati has some, has some stain. Never can say. Some stain, some scandal. Nobody can say. All Mataji, they are feeling so humble in front of Srila Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Maharaj, as if life as if like in front of the Bhakti Daito Madhav Goswami. Though some of them, they took Diksha from Madhav Goswami Maharaj, but after Madhav Goswami Maharaj gone, most of the people used to, you know, come to my Guru Pat Padma all the time, in, even in that, at the time of, even at the time of, you know, Bhakti Daito Madhav Goswami Maharaj. All devotees, they used to come and Madhav Goswami Maharaj was so... I cannot explain. He used to speak, my elder brother, Srila Bhakti Pumatpuri Goswami Maharaj can speak Harikatha in front. He used to speak in front of public. I can hear Madhav Goswami Maharaj sitting. How you can expect? How you can expect at present? So, in open assembly, Sila Bhakti Yadu Madhu Goswami declared, Sila Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Maharaj, first of all, I can go back to the, you know, my sequence I cannot maintain. So, Maharaj saying that Narottama Brahmachari is the ideal Brahmachari. I mean, is giving instruction, we all can follow Maharaj blindly. Even my Guru was told, when I, go, when I can go away from this material world, you can approach him. Suppose you are writing something, in front of Maharaj I am sitting, he never changed any Siddhanta Vichar written by me. I don't know why. Never. And Madhav Goswami Maharaj was bound to give certificate that this Narottama Brahmachari is a tireless, tireless sevak. Narottama Brahmachari is a tireless sevak. Not that I have done seva, I will have to take rest. Not that. Perfect Brahmachari. Noistic Brahmachari. Noistic Brahmachari. If I say, by birth he was, by birth he was, you know, Vaishnava, I am not speaking wrong Siddhanta. By birth he was perfect Brahmachari. By birth. So Madhu Goswami declared, I mean give one certificate, that you know, Narottama Brahmachari is a tireless Shevak, Guru Shevak. And also, he is always very alert. You understand what you mean? What Madhav Goswami wanted to mean? You speak out? Madhav Goswami's personal is very alert. Alert means how to do Guru Shiva, come to Siddhanta. In Kirtan we find, 
Bandamui Sabodhano Mate. It is written in Kirtan. Guru Vaishya Seva, we must do with full care, attention. Not 0.001% attention. 0.001% attention should not be diverted. Full attention, concentration. Otherwise, you cannot perform Guru Mahesha. I can come this, back to his Siddhanta, which are on topic. All I am speaking is Siddhanta. Anyway, I promised you yesterday, I told you that I can discuss about what is called uh, angry attitude and what is called mana. That you should understand first. Mana is externally you can find it is just like angry attitude, mana, but not that. When somebody becomes angry with you, he wants to take revenge against you. Like just a, a few days ago, I told you yesterday, no? that man, by the, by the provocation of some, you know, hooligan, wanted to take revenge. He wanted to take Diksha from me. I told him, I am not the Diksha. I know, you know. He wanted to take control over me, my Gosala. When he find not possible, he used to say, big, big thing, philosophy. When he find that I cannot accept his Siddhanta, everything, I cannot allow, then he will go against you. This is our Bhakti. This is our Bhakti. So, at present, by the mercy of Kali, by the mercy of Maya, anything can happen. Nothing new. It's quite natural. Because Kali cannot allow you to do bhajan anyway. Follow? Kali cannot allow you to do bhajan. Kalon Rajan Jagatam Param Gurum Tilokonatha Natapad Pankajam Praina Martha Bhagavanta Machutam Jakshanti Pashanda Bibina Chetasa. Here, understand. Koli cannot allow you. Nobody likes to follow exact way of Bhakti Vinudhara. If you cannot believe, you search the whole world. And show me one person, one, single, I don't know what two, one, who is just in line with Bhakti Thakur and Prabhupada. Exactly. Like Sadananda Prabhu, I always speak. I cannot stop speaking about him. If you go through one line of Sadananda Prabhu, you can understand so power effulgence in the writing. How to detect who is pure Vaishnava? Pure Vaishnava is pure Vaishnava. Pure Vaishnava is powerful because whatever pratishta you like to give him, he is not going to accept. That's why he can speak this way. Pure Vaishnava is pure Vaishnava. Pure Vaishnava is so powerful. Why? Because they are not going to accept any pratishta from you. Whatever thing you like to do, they are not going to take accept it. That's why they are powerful. If slight 0.001% Pratishtha I accept, I have no right to speak in Vyasasana. I cannot speak Harikatha. I cannot speak. I, I can lose my capacity to speak Harikatha. Kalo Narajan Jagatam Param Gurum Tilokonatha Natapad Pankajam Prayena Martha Bhagavanta Machutam Jakshanti Pasanda Bivin Chetasa. It is clearly written in Bhagavatam. You cannot find people are interested to or see that divine personality, I mean absolute personality, Supreme Lord. Rather they are interested to serve Kali, Durga, Ganesh. Surya, Ashiva, because everybody businessman. 
What benefit I can do? What benefit I can do? I like to, you know, speak in front of you, I like to, uh, you know, give service to you. That kind of mood we never saw with this great Vaishnava. Never saw. Pratishthasa, you know, nothing. So, Srila Bhakti Vita Mahadav Goswami used to declare openly, he is the ideal brahmachari, he is a tireless sevak. I mean, tireless sevak means? You can remember, no? You can remember, now when Prabhupada was bound to give one title to Bhakti Vita Mahadav Goswami, you know? Eh? Volcanic eruption, volcanic energy. So Madhav Goswami also in in different way going to speak this. This is the meaning, na? What Prabhupada wanted to say about Madhav Goswami, volcanic energy, mean tireless energy. Same thing, same thing our Madhav Goswami you going to confer, I mean to give this title to him. Tireless Sheva and very alert. Alert in what in what sense is was alert? Alert in the sense you can understand what is wrong, what is right, how to do Guru Sheva, Vaishnav Sheva. He was the only personality I find in the whole Guru Gauriya Vaishnav society and present. After Guru Bhargava. Only I find Srila Bhakti Vedanta Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami, eh no, Bhakti Balla Tithu Goswami Maharaj. Specially, 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 he got the chance to serve many Vaishnavas. How wonderful! I am also lucky. I am also lucky. I, I also lucky. When I came, I got the opportunity to serve so many, you know. Follow. Bhakti Vardhan Sagar Maharaj, Bhakti you know, Nila Giri Maharaj, Nayananda Baba, Bhakti Bhar, you know, Santoku Singh Maharaj. So many. So I was very lucky. Because that is my treasure. And after that, they all gone. I don't know why they used to love me in such a way. I don't know. Follow. Someday I can speak when their Abhirbhav, Tirubhav coming, I can speak. How they feel comfortable, I don't know why. He used to take one Maharaj, he was very sick. I used to take to Calcutta, from there to Puri. This way I got opportunity to serve. But the case of Srila Bhakti Vigyan Maharaj was totally exclusive. I cannot compare with me. He got the opportunity to serve pure Guru Vaishnava, almost all God brothers. So many things. That's why he was so powerful Vaishnava. That's why. So, I can go back to the Siddhanta Vijaya So, you see, I can go back to see Siddhanta, that Siddhanta Vijaya, I mean, what is angry attitude? And what is man? If angry attitude is there, there the, there the question of jealousy, fighting can come. But in case of mana, mana is very sweet. In that case, you cannot get any scope to live seva. Because your heart cannot permit. Your heart, I can give one example. Like Jagadananda Pandit, he wants to arrange so many seva for Gauranga Mahaprabhu. He wants to arrange so many seva, but Mahaprabhu cannot accept. Mahaprabhu says, how I can accept? Your pillow, your, you know, pillow, everything. How I can accept? Because I am sannyasi. Your mattress, your pillow. Ah, for this reason I have taken sannyas. Bring one bedstead. Bring one bedstead. And bring one woman who can... Message my well. Though it is practical at present, everybody almost do. Many people, they are getting seva. 
Many, many, not everybody. I know. Direct, you know, evidence. So this way, actually, Jagadananda Pandit wanted to serve Mahaprabhu. It is called Priti Seva, from heart. But Mahaprabhu was not in a position to accept it as a sannyasi. Because Mahaprabhu is the idealism of Bhairagya, I mean, an idealism of bhakti and bhakta, bhakta, bhakti. Follow? Is the idealism, so cannot accept. So Jagadananda become angry. Angry means mana, it is not angry at you. How you know? When Jagadananda bring one pot of a very scented well, Ayurvedic well, Mahaprabhu become very hot, you know, brain, so Jagadananda like to apply. So those who are pure devotee, I mean those who are parshad of Prabhu, Bhagavan, they never think he is Bhagavan. Jagadananda don't know that Gauranga Mahaprabhu is Supreme Lord? Yes or no? Yes or no? No. But still it cannot stand. Still it cannot stand inside heart. Like Gopikas, all they are... They, Gopikas, they are speaking, we are illiterate. Really so? Really so? Krishna is going to take lesson from Radharani. Radharani is the original Saraswati. Follow? Original Saraswati from where all knowledge and everything comes. But Radharani and Gopika say, maybe we are illiterate, we are, you know, staying in with cows and, you know, coward. That's why. Similarly, they, all Siddhanta Vichar, they know, but still cannot stand. You can remember I told you, na, inside Vrindavan, Aishwarya Vichar cannot stand. Aishwarya Vichar cannot defeat Madhurjo. They are always, Madhurjo can defeat Aishwarya. Madhurjo can cover up. Aishwarya is there. That day, on Heda Panchami, I was speaking. That in one corner, in Vrindavan, there is such a, a, immense amount of Aishwarya, endless Aishwarya, that even in Vaikuntha you cannot find. But still you cannot see. Because Aishwarya is covered up by Madhurjo. Because the place is this. Vrindavan is the place of Madhurjo. There Aishwarya cannot stand. So all Gopikas, they have clear idea. I told them yesterday, Nakhalu Gopika Nandano Bhavan Akhila Dehinam Antarat Madrik. They are speaking clearly. You are not surely the son of one, you know, gopi. We know you are sitting inside the heart of everybody. But still it is, you know, it is coming from here, not from here. Somehow by it is the arrangement of Jogmaya, they are speaking, but not from heart. If at all feeling, then why they are going to speak? Atati Jad Bhavan, Onni Kananam. When you are going to travel around Vindavan forest, we feel pain. Oh, how Krishna is doing? So soft leg. Huh? Gopika speaking. Jatte sujata charanambu ham ruham sadhan. Jatte sujata charanambu ham saneshu. Bhita sanir dadimahi karukaseshu. Te natabim atasi tadbetate na king zid. Kurupadi vir bhamat dhir bhavadayu samna. You understand? If I go to explain, it will take big time, week after weeks. Gopika speaking. You are traveling in Vindavan forest. There is stone sheep thrown. Even we fear to take your lotus feet on our chest. We think our body is so hard, you can feel pain. Gopika speaking. Do you think it is one kind of material sentiment? You think so? How sophisticated, how excellent. Up to that point, up to that point, we can reach this life? 
We have to see where you have to go. You have to see where you have to go. That's why many times I told, don't try to put, don't try to, don't try to, you know, follow a fallen soul as your idealism. Then your standard can go down. Don't follow a fallen soul, maybe he's Acharya. Don't follow a fallen soul as your idealism. You can lose everything. It is my request you can follow the idealism of Prabhupada. It is more practical. Though you know, oh, so hard, how I can reach? Still okay. You can make some progress this life. Who can say? By the mercy of pure, pure Guru Vaishnava, you can get successful this life also. Who can say? Even one elephant can get success. Even one elephant or beast, by the mercy of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, tiger, elephant, lion, everything. By the mercy of, you know, I can discuss just now after this Harikatha, in Hindi discussion. Hello. To maintain Guru Parampara, how for the three weeks I am discussing one sloka of Gita. Somebody can be in confusion, so today also I can discuss this point. Rashikananda Prabhu is going to change the heart of one elephant, mad elephant. Today I can discuss. Haridas Thakur Prabhu was successful to change one harlot. You can do it? Or any common acharya can do it? They cannot change their own heart. How they can change you? Foolish you are going to take diksha? Better don't take diksha. It is the Siddhanta Vichara Prabhupada. Baba said, don't be crazy. Bhakti Mantra speaking. Don't be crazy. Bhakti Mantra speaking, don't be crazy to take diksha. And you go like blind uh, here. Oh, it's uh, thousands of people. I can also. I can also jump into, into fire from frying, frying pan. This is your solution. This is your dikha. Just you like to jump into fire from frying pan. This is your diksha. You are going to invite more and more problem in your life. Bhakti Mata also said, better don't take diksha. Many devotees coming and asking me. I saw why you make him acharya? Why you make him Maharaj, what to do? Uh, Guru Padma gone, somebody has to. Who told you? But then uh, people can come, new people, where they can go. And you are idiot number one. Your society, you, you, your society, you idiot number one. Idiot number one, rascal. If there is no any, you know, fit personality, okay, we can follow the idealism of Prabhupada, we can go on speaking Harikatha. Not that there is no any fit person. We cannot find any person whom we can make acharya. We can, it, it, is, it is like public vote. It is like public vote in election, you think? Then the devotee says, well, your Siddhanta is okay. Yes. So long as, so long as Bhagavan not going to send, so long as Bhagavan not going to send one such unique personality whom we can Make Acharya, make Acharya money already made Acharya by Bhagavan. Then we can follow idealism. His, his idealism is just like his Gurudev, Kesav Goswami Mahaprabhupada. Then what to do? Other outside people can, um, what do you mean? Outside people can come to your mat and you can arrange that idiot Brahmachari to give Diksha. What do you mean? To give diksha is good or not to give diksha? Which is good? To give diksha is more dangerous. I like mathematics, I prove. What do you mean to say? You mean to say somebody coming and you uh, where they can get? Eh? Where they can get? This way we like you like to destroy the whole society. Where they can go? Where they can go, this is the issue. That's why you can make him the fallen soul as Acharya and make more problem of the, in the society. What do you mean? 
No Acharya, no Acharya. No Acharya, no Acharya. Okay, we can go on speaking about Prabhupada. This is our preaching. If I speak wrong, you can come to me and prove I am speaking wrong. You are making the situation more complicated by your own uh, dirty Siddhanta Vichar. This way, Jagadananda become angry, but it is not angry. It is not angry at you. It is called actually mana. Mana is sweet because when somebody is going to, you know, get mana, in that case he is going to serve, service, I mean seva is not going to stop, follow. The difference between angry attitude and mana, angry attitude means you can throw Gurudev, you can throw Vaishnava, I'm angry, I can take revenge against you or start competition against Gurudev, follow, or a direct confrontation with Gurudev, like the case with me. No? This is the this is there, you know. So actually, point is that that angry attitude surely angry attitude surely going to stop your seva. When you are developing angry attitude, surely you can stop seva. But if mana is there, why mana? But why you not giving me seva? You understand the mood? Mana mean why you are not going to allow me to serve more. Why you are not going to accept my seva? Follow. So Jagadananda wanted to apply the you know nice oil, Ayurvedic oil, and the head of Mahaprabhu. Jagadananda clear is Bhagavan, but still they forget. Oh, maybe uh, gas form and go up, Mahaprabhu become Bhagavan gas form. <laughs> this is called love. This is called actually love. When this kind of mood you can serve, Kuru Vaishnava Bhagavan, like Jasodama is going to serve Krishna, even after, you know, watching so many opulence. Oh my, small boy, maybe ghost entering into the boy. I can call Brahman and, and do some. So this is called actually pure love. But Yavasis they have. Follow. This is called pure love. And this way, Jagadananda, though aware about this thing, is Supreme Lord. But still, though, forget. Ah. Some, the sister of, you know, that uh, Raghav, Damanti, Sarvajaya, Sarvajaya Devi, is the mater maternal aunt, auntie of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. I mean the wife of Chandrasekhar, Sarvajaya Devi. And Damanti is the sister of Raghav. In Panihati, Raghav, I've been there long ago. Damanti used to serve Mahaprabhu, not directly, making so many things, the whole year. Whole year making, Mahaprabhu, maybe some, you know, dysentery can develop. Mahaprabhu not fasting this, that, so he's making some nim, nim leaf, very small, small nim leaf, like dry up, grind with some jeera, you know, when to mix. This got so many preparation with coconut, you know, coconut inside, coconut, make some naru, so many. Every year, when all devotees from Bengal, they used to go to Goranga Mahaprabhu, it is called Raghavai Jhali. Raghavai Jhali, they are going to carry all big, big pot, in which Damanti, see, whole year, she used to make this uh, custard, custard, you know, you know, custard, you know, sauce, custard, so many things, preparation, full. Dry thing, so that Mahaprabhu can use whole year. Still today, you are laughing. Still today, they are sending, carry. This is called Raghavai Jali. I have seen whole room, whole year making. 
the Damayanti, she is sure that Mahaprabhu is Supreme Lord. But still, uh, maybe you can develop some dysentery, who can say? So going to make this preparation, that preparation, with, you know, ginger, is going to, you know, cut ginger in small pieces with salt, you know, some, making some preparation. With dry mango, you know, going to cut mango, green mango, cut pieces, going to dry up, you know, with salt. So many, lebu, you know, lebu mean, you know, the, not orange, that lebu, lemon. Make into pieces with salt, putting in a jar, it becomes soft. After six months, it becomes a very nice custard. This way, you make so many preparation, full room. If there, is no, if there is no love, who can teach you how to serve Bhagavan, Guru Vishnu with love? It is not a matter of cultivation. It is not a matter of cultivation. It is an automatic. It's an automatic factor. This way, so, so Jagadananda wanted to apply this oil, but why is Mahaprabhu not ready? Mahaprabhu giving suggestion, better you can uh, they, uh, give this oil there in Jagannath Mandir, so that they can use a uh, lamp, because that time there was no electricity. Jagadananda became angry. Someday Mahaprabhu was speaking, Jagadananda, Jagadananda, actually, you bring this oil from Bengal. Who told you I bring? Who told you bring I uh, oil from Bengal? Who told you? No. Taking the oil pot and throwing the baranda. Broken oil and oil on it. Who told you I bring oil from Bengal for you? Eh? Enter into room and close the room for three days. It is not angry attitude. Because of extreme affection, Loveful mood. He couldn't bear that Prabhu not going to Prabhu going to refuse my seva. After two, three days, Mahaprabhu saying, it's big danger, I cannot save Go Jagadananda. Then Mahaprabhu knocking the door. Jagadananda, please open the door. Jagadananda, please open the door. After two, three days, not opening. Then Mahaprabhu playing one nice trick. Actually, I am going to see, to take bath. I can come back, I am very hungry. I can take prasadam in your hand. When Mahaprabhu gone, Jagadananda opened the door and started cooking. Immediately. Immediately started. Oh, Nanda, your Ramai, please come. My Prabhu can take prasadam. Pre preparation. Very quickly make preparation. Very quickly make all preparation when Mahaprabhu coming. Because Mahaprabhu is going to see after that, you know, meeting, you know, Haridas, he is there. So many is seva. <laughs> Mahaprabhu also doing seva, you know, bhakta seva. In the meantime, preparation, when Prabhu coming, Jagadana ready, I am very hungry. Ah, ready, you can sit. When taking one-one preparation, oh, so tasty. So tasty, I never took this kind of, you know, tasteful prasadam. Maybe your angry attitude, due to your angry attitude, the prasadam is now very tasty. Mahaposti. This one kind of loveful exchange. So you understand now? When Radharani and Lolita Visaga become angry on, when Radharani become angry, that is not actually angry attitude. It is not actually angry attitude. Radharani feeling disappointed because Krishna is not going to save up from me going there, eh? my Pranunath, my Pranunath, Krishna, only my Pranunath, my Pranunath. Even Chandavali was bound to speak, you don't know. When some Sakhi, there is also one Padda, the, not this Padda, in the, in, in the group of Chandravali, there is one Padda, Shaibha, Padda, they are always making politics how to bring Krishna and make Radharani cry. It is their plan. So sometimes they are searching when Krishna is there, okay, take Krishna and go. This is the situation. This is also, you know, nice Leela, so tasteful Leela. I cannot explain in front of you all in this situation. So you'll have to go up. So one day, Swaibha, 
or uh, Padda going to give information to Chandravali. Someday, Shabya and you know, Padda, they are going to give information to Chandravali with, with joking mood. Very nice, very... What happens? Actually, Radha, your competitor, going to die. How? Yes. Due to separation, you almost dying. He's lying. They are dancing. Well, Radha dying means only Krishna. You say idiot. Chandavali is speaking, you idiot. You are being, you going to bring this message to me? Well, I bring nice message. That nice message, idiot. Chandavali is chiding. You are bringing nice message? Idiot, you don't know? Only and only for Radha, we are getting Krishna, to serve Krishna sometime. If Radha gone, this is a good message. Idiot number one, in child, very angry, Chandravali. This is good message. If Radharani gone, then we can lose Krishna. We can miss Krishna. Foolish. So this is the mood. So high class mood. So the seva of Raganuga devotee or Rupanuga devotee are not a matter of preaching. Not a matter of preaching in open society. No. No. By the inspiration of Srila Bhaktivigyan Bharati Maharaj, by the inspiration of Bhaktivigyan Bharati Maharaj, I was bound to give answer to some Sahajya. They are writing one article about Baladeva Ras. In the year of you know, 2003, of course I was bound to write answer after by the inspiration of Maharaj, I give fitting answer. Side by side, I can publish the two articles. One written by them, another written by, I mean, Prabhupada. I cannot write. I am writing in Prabhupada Bhakti Thakur or Kesav Goswimar. I can publish it very shortly. Let me see what they can do, how much financial power they have. Let me see. I can publish it. I cannot fear. I never fear. How they are misguiding. They are speaking, Balaji Maharaj, in separation, when Balaji Maharaj came, Balaji Maharaj was bound to dance with, you know, doing ras with the gopikas of Krishna. They are writing this. This kind of idiot people. So by the inspiration of Bharati Maharaj, he was bound to write so many things, so many, you know, objections. It was life risk for me. It was life risk for me. Because I can show you direct evidence that Acharya going to kill, wanted to kill his own disciple. So what about me? He could kill me? As a godmother, he could kill me? He used to kill. He wanted to kill his own disciple because he is knowing some secret thing about him. Wanted to kill and throw. Hello, I don't like to name. So what strange if they can kill me? Nothing strange. But Bharti Maharaj blessing me, nobody can do it. Oblis. Big, big society, international. This is, you know, the duty of an Acharya. This is one duty of Acharya to protest. If they are not going to protest against a wrong Siddhanta Vichar, then it is offensive, big problem. This way, Sila Bhakti Bhagavan Bharati Maharaj, I cannot expect he can write any wrong Siddhanta. He cannot write. Anyway, he was the number one sevak of Sila, Bhakti Daita Madhav Goswami Maharaj. Always, all, you know, Parikrama, Brajamandal Parikrama, Gormandal Parikrama, he was in charge to manage everything. So patiency. Bharati Maharaj, so patiency, because patiency is the 
you know, most vital factor in your bhajan. Follow? That's why he used to arrange all parikrama party, parikrama, I'm okay. This parikrama, Gaur Mandal parikrama, Braja Mandal parikrama. Naturally he was a, he used to maintain everything very perfectly. Not only that, his figure was almost like Madhu Goswami Mahaj. So, some of them, some, some devotees, they used to say, that he is a he is a son of uh, Sila Madhuga Simharaj. So nice figure. And he used to cook so much powerful, he used to cook. Big, big people. I know. So many, maybe two thousand, five thousand people. So tall figure he used to cook. He used to cook to satisfy Guru Path Padma, Guru Vaishnava. Even in Elhavad, here, there when Kumbha Mela, you know. Actually, we are not allowed to go to Kumovala. We can, not allowed mean, we, sh we can go. That's not our objection, but what use? Like, I can give you one example. If you go to Kumovala, there is mixed population. There is Mayabadi, Naga Sanyasi, they are naked. So many. You can get, you know, but Madhavagosri Maharaj, and it was the Siddhanta Vichara Prabhupada, he used to send some delegate, to arrange one, you know, one exhibition or harikatha there, so that those who are coming from outside uh, to take bath in in uh, in, uh, in the confluence of Ganga Jumuna Sarasva, they can have the chance to learn about Goranga Mahapu. Who can say? So Madhu Goswami also, according to the desire of Prabhupada, used to open one tent. I mean, place by the approval of government to preach Harikatha. And there also, Srila Bhakti, Vigyan Bharti Maharaj was the main sevak with full patience regarding monetary factor, how to do, who, how to manage, who coming, when Guru. One day, I mean, during that period, when already Kumbhamala going, in the meantime, suddenly, uh, get in information, they are getting that Srila Jajavar Goswami Maharaj coming. Jajavar Goswami Maharaj now coming to uh, attend the function there. Everybody, all Brahmachari become angry. We all set our place everywhere. Then he can come with four or five people where we can give accommodation. He should come before. This way, passing remark. Then suddenly, Maharaj could hear it, that they are going to pass some remark about Jaya Guru Maharaj. Maharaj coming in front of those Brahmacharya speaking, what is concern to you? No, he is coming late, you should come before. And how we can have four or five people has come? It is not your responsibility. I can give my own place to him. Okay? Okay? Now stop. I cannot, I cannot allow you to, you know, feel problem. I can, I can give my place for Maharaj. Maharaj, you know, sleeping outside in the sand. And Ma. This way we learn this kind of thing from Maharaj. Follow, this way. All, almost all temple. All, almost all. Because, Sila Maharaj, all along, from, from the very beginning, he used to serve Srila Bhaktivita Mahadugu Sri Maharaj exclusive way, like building construction, follow, like Calcutta Mott. Calcutta Mott place, at present, if you have billions of dollars, still there is no place, such an important place. It is only possible by Srila Bhaktivita Mahadugu Sri Maharaj. All important places. All important places. Impossible. So there actually, Srila Bhakti Dhrita Madhu Goswami used to give responsibility to Narottama Brahmachari, I mean Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Maharaj. 
for the construction. Everywhere. Where not? Even in Gokul Mahavan, in Mayapur, in, you know, where not? Everywhere. Dehradun. Dehradun, you can go mad. In Dehradun, it is impossible to make one mot. I've been there many times. By the desire of the devotees. Impossible to make mot. A small, small space. A hilly place. Hilly place, no? Dehradun, hilly place. But Madhukus, uh, you know, our Bharti Maharaj making such a plan, such a plan within this small place. All temple, second floor, you know, ground floor, first floor, how accommodation, how unique. Harikatha place, latrine bathroom, what to make. What I can say, Really, Sila Bhakti Vita Madhukusi Maharaj, I mean, yes, disciple and Sisho also, you know, Sila Bhakti Vita Maharaj Maharaj was a, ge is a genius. Was a genius. We say he is an encyclopedia. He is an encyclopedia of Gauriya history. Many things, because that time there was no restriction. After that, some new, new devotees coming, they make it, oh, you cannot enter. No. I am always allowed, because it is the mercy of Maharaj. No, Maharaj can take rest now. But previously, any time, Maharaj, come, 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 sit. You should sit, you know, like disciples, sitting down, speaking, so many things exchanging. Even when I wanted to publish, the, all the articles of my Guru Maharaj, countless articles. So some article, important article, I collect all important. And I was in a fix, how to make the sequence of the article. Because Bharati Maharaj is ex very experienced, very matured. Uh, basically, you know, I wanted to make, this is Samanda Avidya Prajan. I want to segregate all articles according to the inner meaning of article. Still, I wanted to consult with Bharti Maharaj. Maharaj, you, was, you in this writing, I, I make sequence, you see if there is any wrong mistake. Maharaj, whole day watching and marking when I come. No, this is Ovidya. It, it can go in the category of Ovidya. Okay, Maharaj. Follow. He used to categorize Samanda Avidya Prajan. High class. It's an encyclopedia. I learned so many things. If I don't confess, Bhagavan cannot excuse me. I learned so many things. Whenever I am in front of Maharaj, Maharaj, because Maharaj is an encyclopedia, he went on seeking. I see, this happened, you know, that was the 19, you know, 55, it happened so. And the year of 1962, that man came to me. Maharaj, how you can remember? All day! He can remember everything, even the date and the tithi all. Name. That man devotee came with his you know, grandson, his name is this. <laughs> all can see. I wonder, because this is the magic spell of Brahmacharya. It's a unique magic spell of Brahmacharya. Perfect Brahmacharya. This way, I can go on speaking about Maharaj long, so many Siddhanta Bichar, but time cannot permit. I'm very sorry to discuss all in gist. I want to speak so many things about pure Guru Vishnu. That is my treasure. I love, I like to speak about, I don't know why. I like to speak about Guru Vishnu all the time. I like to speak, but time is limited anyway. I think you all can excuse me because I will have to run there and start. I get only 40 minutes time, I change clothes, everything and sit for Harikatha there also. In no time, long distance I will have to go. Anyway, so it is the arrangement of Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Supreme Lord. We are lucky that Bhagavan sending nice, nice devotee in front of us to protect us, pure devotees. We are lucky. 
Sometimes you wonder, there's some devotee, some of Guru Varga, if writing wrong, Bharti Maharaj never can approve. Never can approve. Even somebody going to criticize Madhu Goswami Maharaj, how it is possible we can expect that Maharaj can write something about him. But they are writing. So people are in confusion about the fact. They cannot discover the you know, inner meaning in confusion. Madhu Goswami Maharaj, you know, used to say, is a number one follower of all Gauriya Siddhanta. He is totally in line. And Srila Maharaj, somebody wanted to put question, some, uh, some devotee, they are, they are speaking this kind of Siddhanta, we Gauriya, we should not attend this return wrath. Is it true? Maharaj became very angry. What kind of Baba they develop? Let me see, bring them. What kind of Baba they develop? They are gopi? Foolish. Return wrath prohibited. You go. Mahaprabhu used to attend. Return wrath. This kind of Siddhanta used to say. Oh, how we can expect that he is to wrote you know, glorification about that personality, that Acharya? But I find. It is the mercy of Bhagavan. I am not in this, you know, in this group. It's the mercy of Bhagavan. Bhagavan arranged me this kind of exclusive situation. Only like mad I am thinking. Doing Harinam I am thinking. If I, if I run for human behavior, I cannot get chance. Like mad. You don't know. There is so much hot there. You know, and about four or five years speaking Harikatha, only with coping. Nobody allowed there. Close the room and go on speaking like mad. Follow. Also, so much case here. When I was here, you know, there was no electricity. But I am from one big city. But still, with coping, nobody there. I start sweat coming home. Put one paper here. Come right. By the mercy of Maharaj, all Guru Varga. So nobody can stop you doing Guru Shiva. If you have your sincerity and submission. Janasya Krishna Devimukha Shadaivad Adharma Silasya Sudukhitasya Ono Grohaye Ho Charantinunam Bhutani Bhabhyani Janardanasya Vanchakalpatur Vasikapasana Patitanam Pavanam Bhavishnam. 